All right. Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Roman Frolov. Today, my guest is Alexander Polchikov, uh, together with whom we co-founded Tao. Alexander was a CEO, but why don't you introduce yourself? Roman, thanks for their invitation. Yeah, of course. Um, I'm creator of the Tao shared charging infrastructure for electric vehicles. And I graduated from the leading nuclear university uh, of Russia, where I studied uh, reactor material science while studying. I completed some internship in Norway, where I did some prediction and calculations uh, of properties for new perspective material, materials for soil cells. Mm, and then inspired in Norway by the level of development of electric mobility, I just thought that I should to found some company in Russia and bring this as soon as possible to Russia. Um, and it was some, some problems and I don't found, and then we didn't found some um, support in Russia and that's why I started to learn German. Uh, and wanted to move to Germany to catch the best opportunities for the startup. And it's like in Hollywood movies and many unpredictable events uh, happened in this way. And like right now I'm project engineer on the nuclear power station nearby Munich. And yeah, I think perhaps it will be us or. <laughs> wow, what a journey. So you started in Russia, went to Norway, then back to Russia and then ended up in Germany. Um, so like, what was the idea behind Tao? Um, it was 2017 and uh, realizing the promise of electric mobility in the future, I just wanted to bring it in Russia as soon as possible. And the main problem is was in Russia and I think not just in Russia, in Russia in all world, it's absence of charging electric infrastructure and its um, installation costs. And I wanted to find solution for this problem. And goal of the startup was to quickly develop um, a charging station network that uh, will cover big areas and enable movement of electric vehicles uh, in Russia with minimal investment because it's like super important. It's it may be right now not so profitable in Russia. That's why it's like was the main criteria. It's minimal investment. The for their P two P concept was taken uh, as a basis. It's like which allowed each resident to earn money by providing access to their electric uh, sockets. And it's like it should be a win-win situation for both sides, for drivers and for owners of the sockets and maybe another plans, uh, electric plans. So basically, I am like a resident. I have a charging station and I would share it with drivers, like with everyone publicly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like through their, our platform, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so um, you mentioned that you wanted to extend the like charging network in Russia. Um, were there any other like personal uh, like motivations behind it? Like, was money motivation for you? Uh, I think the money wasn't motivation. It's like I will ask on the first question because. Mm, you can work for the like two years without salary, uh, without anything, just in these hard conditions and recruit the new members in the same time. It's like huge challenge. That's why I don't know, fortunately or unfortunately, the money wasn't there like on the first place at the time. And the second part of the question about motivations, mm, I think there's no one motivation there's in, there's plenty of points there's several factors and maybe the first it's uh, technology and innovation adaptation in the native country maybe to be useful for our society of course we may i think well, everyone want to make this and everyone want to use uh, to feel yourself like uh, suitable and um, of course, in Russia in this time, it was already been single solutions, but like I wanted to make this electric vehicle direction much more popular, much more like massive. I don't know how to say adopted. the adopted. Thank you. Like the next point, it was it was like much more maybe global goal. 
it's a contribute of uh, natural development of uh, more suitable decentralized uh, renewable energy network and give people ability to earn my on that i mean like to develop their uh, wind energy devices uh, install wind energy devices or install the like solar solar plants and provide uh, this clean electricity to their um, to the people to the driver and it should help to avoid the monopoly in like in Russia you know in, in country I, I thought about it yeah and maybe the last uh, point that I like belief in power of science and uh, someday it will be created some industrial organic batteries with minimum of a toxic metal or, or toxic materials like with an energy capacity and that's why it theoretically or not theoretically in practice it should make their electric vehicles truly clean mm -hmm. not right now but truly clean but and at least with electric vehicles like we have a chance for the future because with the oil it's everything clear right now and there's no way make it much more clean than it is right now that's why we should try it, new technology and adopt new technology to, to, just to try at least yeah, yeah. It, it was it was my motivations absolutely um these are great motivations um and you also mentioned that you worked for two years without like investment and without salary and how did you assemble a team how did you find the talent on the market Oh, it's um, okay. That's an interesting question. Um, it was uh, many approaches to, to 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 assemble the teams. First of all, of course, I just participate in some events. I just tried to the teammates on their job seeking platform, on the freelance platform, uh, in the social networks, and so on. Mm. Yeah, it just it just was was no secret in this. So basically, you went there with your shining eyes and you proposed to everyone to join Tao on a great mission to a sustainable future. Yeah, of course, uh, it, it was. I just yeah, I think you're right. I just have this, this shining eyes. It's, I just wanted to bring it. I have a huge desire, and it helped me. Yeah. Um, and uh, why did Tao failed to attract investment? Oh, I think that uh, yeah, we have got some feedback, of course, from the investors after that. Uh, and the uh, main reason I think we have a huge or a wide focus. We just want to build everything in one single moment. We just wanted to make charging infrastructure at work. It's pretty difficult. And then we have started to develop our own hardware solution and we have done this i think in eight percent but uh, i don't know it's it's it was difficult for investors to accept that we develop in hardware because hardware products they have a uh, really a long lifetime to bring it to the market that's why it was it was pretty dangerous because we need one two years just to adopt to certificate this this the devices. I think like this was our mistake. True, true. So basically, an advice for a young startup is like don't do both hard, software and hardware uh, in the beginning. Start with one thing and then add more <laughs> products. Um, all right, that's yeah. great. Um, so. What about the product market feed? Um, have you found your own niche? Mm, I just don't think so. That we like we have done our own niche now. We not develop this, but we developed solutions that like suitable for existing uh, as, uh, case scenarios. Uh, we have done extra like solutions that are super convenient uh, to use for business aims. And for parents, aims is true because we have like we have done general platform. That's why, yeah, we achieve market feed. That's why like we uh, was able to sell this company. But I can say that we created our own niche nine. No, it's not true. Okay, so basically, we created a product that is useful for like a general market, but we did not find a niche for our startup, like to realize the 
um, the idea behind Tao? Yeah, I think we were, we were too early, especially on the Russian market. And uh, that's why it was too, like, not too much people that was ready to install this yeah. on their, on their plants, on their, like, gardens and so on. But in Germany, it was another problem when we have started that, like, was created one law that restricted their people to provide the access to the sockets. And it was super funny because like we started in this moment and then like this uh, law has, has was, was created and we can do uh, also anything in this point. That's why like we have, we have trying to make some, some motions, some movements in another direction. Yeah, but it happens. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that happens. Um, so besides that, what else have you learned um, during this journey? Ooh, this is, I think I have lo I've learned a lot. Of course, that was my first experience launching a company and so the conclusions maybe uh, are quite simple for experienced people, but for new one, I think that's, they need to, to, uh, to hear about that. Yeah, Absolutely. it's like not, yeah, the first point, it's not to be too romantic. It's just like focus from the first day on the KPIs and on the monetization because like business should make money. <laughs> yeah, of course it's, it, it's it can be romantic, but just for one year. But then it's like you you don't want too much more have this fun. You want to also eat and just rent yeah. a beautiful uh, plate and so on. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of the day, people should get salary. Investors want return on their investment. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Business is about making money. money. You're pretty right. And the next point is like marketing should be first. And uh, the development of the product, it's just second important point, actually. If no one knows about, about your, you can't do anything. Uh, the, Next point, how discuss this? I think it's just, just we should just to uh, keep the narrow focus and just know what we are developing just for one category, just one mm -hmm. for one category of people, for one uh, target audience, and so on. The next point it's mm, don't do hypothesis testing, development, to developing two native apps like we just make this on another platforms because it's too long, it's make too much resources. In this time that's why it's also not suitable for startups the next part it's like uh research legal parts before project adaptation in specific country like in germany of course like we have done this mistake this is why i am talking about this uh in the like maybe last point um, think many times before you or someone else want to Intern, entering on the unformed and growing market without the ability to attract resources for survive for next three, five years. Yeah, because like we came too early to the Russian market and too late to the German one. And it was, yeah, it was our also some, some mistake, I can say. So yeah, some mistakes. in order for stuff to work, we should, we should be like, we should have been waiting for another three years for market to grow enough. Well, if we're talking mm -hmm. about Russia, um, you've also mentioned one thing that is like very, very interesting. I think it is that like don't develop to native apps when you're in a startup. And like, mm -hmm. so, so you think that when you start a startup, you should keep your team as small as possible, right? You're right. Of course, it just. <laughs> You, it's pretty difficult to manage, I think, a team that's mo much more than, or not much more than, just more than six people maybe in the team. Because you shouldn't blame too much, you shouldn't out, uh, uh, also delegate, it's like uh, exercises and delegate many things, because you should spend plenty of time just, just to plan all these times. You should also like work on the perspective, you're right. Mm -hmm. And how big was the team in Tao? It was uh, in, in there, I think, 
the maximum it was nine people in the team together with like with one marketing person from Germany. But normally it was eight people. Okay, understood. Um, so what do you think was the best decision you've ever made in DAO? Ooh, foo, 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 foo. I think it's like will be general answer on this question. It just uh, just start to make the product just start start to try uh, develop their like big interest in product it's just ignore fear take chance and start embody these products and like and the much more maybe important thing and just learn everything uh, along the way not before you want to launch something but along the way in this in this coordinates you don't spend many, many times you don't spend many trains on their on the not important things, you don't just run, just distract your in this point. That's why it's also super important. I think that's that's what this was to make decision make it all everything in flow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I agree with you. Spending too much time like dwelling on the idea without making any steps, without trying to execute it, without listening to users' feedback, you're basically like mm -hmm. creating assumptions. But when you're making business, you should always test these assumptions and yeah, being bold enough mm -hmm. and doing first steps is very important. Um, okay. And in short term, of course, because you should analyze this feedback. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, and uh, what was the worst decision then? Mm, I think our life is about relationships, with, about communications with people. Which, and the main mistake was to keep their toxic people in the team uh, because they have some perfect uh, set of hard skills. And like I was too lazy <laughs> to find another person in the team. Uh, and yeah, in startup, I have said this, we are living super stressful lives. That's why we must, we should, it's our mission to enjoy it the communication, responsibility in the team, and like to see to watch this shining eyes that like surround your or surrounding partners down the way. It's 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 just atmosphere. It's about communication. It's about way way of living. I, I just yeah, yeah can ask. Absolutely. Uh, answer this question. Absolutely. Uh, th there was an interesting saying that I read like a couple of days ago. People don't get tired from hard work they get tired from toxic culture. I like this saying yeah. a lot. Let's describe what I want to answer. <laughs> yeah. But pretty short, I think, yeah. Um, tell me more about successes of Tao. It's like, it's it, it was like a two year journey um, and uh, it wouldn't, you, we wouldn't make it so far without like successes along the way. So tell me about them. Yes, of course, I think we achieved some milestones, we have done some successes. And uh, looking into the retrospect, our successes are definitely creating a really huge, uh, technologically difficult product. I think you don't to, uh, say something against of this. It's is our external investment in this time. It's also important to say yeah. the next is like building a strong team and making friends in the same time. We just not work in just for like the product. We just communicate together. We just, we just enjoy the way it was for me right now, much more important. Like when I, when I want to see in, in the bag, um, the next thing that I know I, I was wondering, it's that people ready to work like without sal salary for a long time um, because like they are just inspired by the idea. I think it was maybe it was also a uh, one, one uh, success. And the, and the last one, we should of course have some KPIs and maybe some material uh, things and we have done exit. Oh, and and we and right now I understand that everything that like wasn't just 
a way. And uh, we right now understand that our product is available and people need it and they are ready to pay for that. And of course, it's like also make my soul it much more warmer, <laughs> more, more hotter. Basically, you achieved what you wanted initially, like you wanted to bring value to society and you did it like in a different way or form, but you did it in the end. Um, tell me yeah, more about that. the exit, like how do you take your startup to exit? Mm. Yeah, it's it was mm, in the end maybe pretty uh, logical and natural and relatively smoothly like way, but super long way uh, because we have carried out a huge work before, like uh, we have done integration tests with the manufacturers from seven European countries. Like we have we have taken a huge experience in in our area. Then when we have proved we have proved our competence in this area, I can say so. Mm -hmm. The next, uh, mm, like I have conducted many conversations, like with government and private organization and people around the Russia, Greece, uh, and like Ukraine, and Belarus, and other countries, like they are know about us, and uh, that's why during the pandemic, I understand like that we can't go further. That's why. I've wrote some articles about our last progress in the development like and this and in, in, in that we want to sell the job and it's happened like without many low issues without contracts without negotiating but it's happens yeah, yeah. that's awesome that's great um so <laughs> that's awesome yeah <laughs> basically if you want to sell your company like start from early days like have uh, partners like um extend your network like connect with different people so when time comes then you have an opportunity to sell because if we did not have these partnerships that we made like early on we wouldn't be able to do that in the end uh, because pretty sure. yeah if you don't have connections when like things go south then you're screwed you can't exit <laughs> um all right um so you exited the you exited tau and uh, what is the current state of so after the exit mm, yeah we have uh sold it in south of russia in cream Crimea. <laughs> and uh yeah and uh this product right now is living it's developing in the, in this time and i hope it will be much more value for the future it will be maybe much more huge much more valuable product for people and uh but what should i what should i say we are saved our intellectual property rights uh for the next three years two years and that's why like we can sell our company two more times uh just uh with agreement with our contract mm -hmm. i can say so yeah, uh, basically not the company, but the software in this case. Um, yeah, in this case. That is awesome. That is that is so cool. Um, <laughs> Some also, yeah. also <laughs> like <laughs> selling it to the south of Russia. I think that south um, has a um, much like it's much easier to have like electric vehicle when you're on the south uh, because the battery lives longer. Um, it's easier to charge it because you don't have to put chargers in garages They can be just standing on the street because here like on the north of Russia where I am right now in St. Petersburg or in Moscow We have like rains we have snows and it's very cold during the winter so that for example like um, Tesla's they drop almost like 50% of their battery during the winter so south has like my, my many my, much more like more perspective friendly. yeah much better and a friendly environment for electric vehicles so it's just great mm -hmm. um and uh talking about like the electric vehicle market what is the, the state of it like uh, it's been what like more than one year since the tau was basically um like uh the development on tau was stopped yeah i think uh 
currently, for example, in European Union market, um, it's like difficult to start, difficult to build a new charging infrastructure products because like market right now is pretty competitive there and there is already main player here mm -hmm. and people chose the direction like with this OCP protocol and that's why it's pretty pretty hard to find your place because you need in this case a huge amount of investment like that's why it's not easy to start with nothing right now here in the European market but in Russia it's I think right now it's uh, on the other hand it's the uh, best time to enter on the market uh, because it just started to you know, like just the government created some laws and uh, they like stimulate this direction with huge amount of investment and people who bought the child they know about it that's why that's why it's happened also they have become some support from government and they want to make it further 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 happy to hear that um yeah it will be great to see development here in russia and um what about um like do you have an advice that you would give yourself back in 2019 <laughs> uh, uh, of course if we will speak about the product i will start to make it absolutely from another side more for i think i i will start to develop more like a high level of their products like more high level product on the market i mean in the hierarchy like it's it should be another system mm -hmm. um and, but if i will speak about me in general like about the person and about experience i think no i just i i i wanted to repeat this way because you understand pretty much in this hard time about the life about the people about your future maybe how you should to make the product how you should to interact like with maybe also employers because he was from from the another side he was on the like on the barricades like and it's it, it just was perfect experience i have learned too much that's why in 2019 i can say myself myself just alex repeat places this way it, it will be <laughs> suitable and helpful for your future life yeah. <laughs> that is awesome uh what are your plans for the future mm. oof, 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 oof. it's interesting question mm. like just tell the universe about your plans <laughs> And we will like last together this universe uh but of course like there are some general uh directions like what i want to do and first of all i just want to return in the big city or <laughs> from the my current village uh maybe cologne berlin and right now i've rent their new flesh you will see this and yep. i just try to renovate it to make some furniture i just make some tapes in this direction and uh of course, like I just can't see it on one place. Mm, that's why I started to develop one extra concept because like I met some problem and I can't find the decision for this problem. And it's like a uh, product from vintage area. And I work on this maybe the last seven months mm -hmm. and yeah. So you are working on solving some fintech problem that you have encountered last year. Mm -hmm. So we should see a new concept very soon. Uh, yeah, I just want to launch the website. I want, I want uh, till the August, which is middle of the August and just to prove the concept i don't want to repeat their same mistakes that i have done already restau for example i just want to see watch how people reactions <laughs> it's like a product about banking technology hub uh that wrap it in a network form to give people the previously unavailable uh, unavailable powerful financial instruments like in a simple way because I needed this and I can find this. 
in or in EU, for example, in mm -hmm. European Union. That's why I want to to try to make this. Understood. Awesome. Thank you very much for joining me today. <laughs> um, that was it was very interesting, and I think we had an insightful conversation for those who are creating their first company and going through this experience themselves. Wow, wow, wow! Thank you, Roman. Yeah, I'm also glad to see and to speak, and it was a pretty interesting conversation for me. I just maybe asking for me also for some question, and I, now I'm more much more confident in my directions. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's a great way of way. understanding and reflecting on what you did in the, in the past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Reflect is important, especially in in hard times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Twenty twenty was a hard year for all of us uh, and it's great that even after hard year like that we still have our own successes and we haven't lost the morale and we're still we still have uh, new ideas and we are pursuing them and are going to pursue them in the future you know we are trying to develop something without depression just 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 with huge amount of energy yeah we just try and go yeah. ahead <laughs> Awesome, Alexander. Thank yeah. you very much. Have a great day. Thank you, Ron. You too.